so here I am. Um, I'm just like, for myself, I know I'm dealing with a lot of fear and a lot of, I'm battling with myself with fear and faith. Um, so you don't want to be consumed by fear, but you want to be prepared, but you don't want to be consumed by it. And it's so hard in these times we live in now, every day there's something going on in the news, but despite everything we're feeling, we have to understand that God is still God and he knows what this thing is and he knows what he's doing and he knows what we're all going through, what we're all facing. And we just have to praise him for that. And it's not a Christian thing. It's a just a way of, um, the way of um, processing this thing. And don't forget to process your feelings. I know we, we don't live by feelings, we live by faith, but we need to process our feelings and get real about them so we can pour them out and be be filled with faith and don't forget to be honest with god um with your family and friends over the phone your body zoom and just say you know what i'm not doing all right this is scary for me and that's okay to admit that you're scared i was watching stephen Furtick yesterday and he was telling the story about his little nine-year-old daughter who was who was scared that there was something in her bathroom uh so she ran into her parents room and he just um said come come here and he just held her in his arms and, and he said they were I'm here, no need to worry. And that's what the Lord is saying to us. He's saying, it's okay to admit that you're scared. It's okay to admit that um, things aren't going well. Some days you're filled with faith and hope, and some days you're just not. And it's okay to admit when you're not. He knows when you're not, and he wants you to take the Christian mask off. For too long, we've been wearing a Christian mask, um, pretending that, oh, the joy of the Lord is our strength. I've got joy. I'm not afraid, and we're not supposed to be afraid. See, we're told we're not supposed to be afraid, so we hide the fact that we are afraid. Are afraid. But we don't need to hide the, the fact, we need to face it and deal with it. We need to say, Lord, I know you're God, I know you're, I know you're there, but I'm still afraid. And he'll say, come, come, honey, come, man, and let me just, let me just hold you. See, see, today the Lord wants to just hold you hold you in his arms and reassure you that everything will be okay. Everything will be all right. He, he so wants to be a father to somebody today. And he wants to reassure you that everything will be all right. Everything you're facing, he knows the uncertainty about your job. He knows what you're worried about. He knows. He knows. And he loves you and he wants to um, pour his supernatural love out on you today. And like, he just wants to shelter you in his arms. Um, uh, we, we used to sing a song when I was older. We used to sing, Jesus is the rock in a weary land. A weary land, a weary land. Jesus is a rock in the in a weary land, a shelter in the time of storm. He wants to be your shelter today. Let him in. You don't have to be filled with faith all the time. 
I know that goes counter to what you've heard, but like, just, just tell him, Lord, I want to be filled with faith. I know that you're there, but I'm just struggling. And he'll say, okay, come into me and I'll make you stronger until you can stand. You're not alone. Not only is God with you, but the whole world is with you. In this case, the whole world is dealing with coronavirus. And we're, we're not all, we're in the same storm, but we're not in the same boat. But in some way, somehow, everybody's dealing with this. And we just have to rest and be reassured that God is God and he still loves us and he still has us in the palm of his hand. And he just wants to be your shelter today. He just wants to be the place you run. Only your grace. Only your grace. Only you can set me free. Only your love has captured my heart. We hear you calling, come, 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 so I will run from Run to you, oh God. Now you have my heart. So I will, I will run forever. I will run, run to you, oh God. Where else can I go? Forever. He wants you to run to him today. He is a place of safety. He wants to be your safe place. Okay, guys. You know, he wants to wrap his arms around you. Show you some TLC. He knows you're broken. He knows you're hurting. And he wants to be the one you run to. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word today. We run to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. You've been carrying it for yourself for too long. Let it go. You've been running yourself ragged. What if this? What if that? Let it go and run to Jesus. He, he wants to provide safety, but he can't provide safety if you're always, like, worried and um, always trying to do everything. You're not alone. Let him in and run to him. In the name of Jesus, amen. So, guys, I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Be blessed. And remember to run to Jesus. Bye. I will, I will run. Forever I will run. Run to you, oh God. Now you have my heart. So I will. Forever I will run, run to you, oh God. Where else can I go? Forever.
You've been running to everything else. You've been running to your TV. You've been running to every preacher. You've been you've been watching services online, as have I. But the Lord is saying, He just wants you to run to Him. He just wants you to take a moment and run to Him. Pour out your heart. Don't be afraid. He loves you. He cares for you. And there is nothing he doesn't want to give you. Just run to him. You've been carrying so much by yourself. You've been carrying so much pain and heartache. And he just wants you to run to him. Thank you, Lord. We will run to you today. We love you. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. In our brokenness, we 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 run to you. In our uncertainty, we run to you. In everything, Lord Jesus, is going on with coronavirus, we run to you. We just run to you. You're our Father, and you're there to scoop us up. You're there to love us. You're there to hug us. You're there to kiss us. In this time, settle us, God. In this time, settle us. In this time, settle us. Um, there's a song that my former pastor, Richard Brown, uh, wrote years ago. Um, Thinking of how I can bless you. This is what the Lord is saying right now. Planning the ways to increase you. To show you how much I love you. And I'm always thinking of you. Angels and camps all around you. Protection from things that can harm you. When all my when enemies Overtake you. Take you. Let all my when enemies fall before you. Let all my blessings overtake you. You're in my thoughts. You're in my heart. You have my word, my love won't part. I will make you great in all the years. You will never be in need, but in the place of wealth. This is my promise to you. I wrote this love song for you. You're in my thoughts. You're in my heart. You have my word. My love won't part. I will make you great. In all the years, you will never be in need, but in the place of wealth, this is my promise to you. I want this love song for you. And he's saying today, what? 
have I promised you? What did I tell you? What I told you in the dark will come out in the light. He said, remember what I promise you. Remember what I told you. Sometimes when we're going through hardship like this, we forget what he said. But he's saying, remember what I told you and remember what I said to you. He's saying, just remember. Okay, guys, they're closing. I'll see you tomorrow, just like a preacher. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.